guys, today I'll be showing you the easiest way to make a 3D room perspective on Canva. Now, first thing you would need is to have a Canva um, account, either a free one or a pro one. The pictures I'm showing you right now are some of the Canva slides that I've made from scratch using just the elements. Um, so you can use your free account as well. Uh, today I'll be showing you a living room and these are the versions that I made for it and let's start off by trying one right now. So first off you have to have a blank slate and I changed the color to a dark gray because that's what I want the color of the walls to be. And now I'm using a square shape that's also free and I want to color it like a chocolate brown for the floor. So to do a perspective, and this is actually a two-point perspective, it's just a fancy way of saying it's a, um, you're looking at the corner of the room. So you see the right side and the left side of the wall. So what I'm doing is I'm putting an angled floor on the left side and one on the right side to simulate that point where um, that's going to be the corner of that room. So next would be a reference. So I'd like to have a sofa right there. And the sofa is already ready-made from the elements and it's already on an angle. So what I do is I can't obviously twist it around because it's already a set drawing. So what I'll do is I will angle my floor to mimic that of the sofa or the sofa's backrest. And so they are both on the same plane. So it's that easy actually. Now for the wall. Walls aren't normally the same shade, especially if they're slight hitting it. Now we're not trying to do a realistic kind of drawing, but you want it to be 3D, so we're going to shade the right wall a lighter shade of gray. Now we're going to add a bit more of um, dimension to the room by adding a cabinet, a low one. So we made a rectangle, two of them, one going at an angle following the same angle of the floor, and another one just straight. A third rectangle is made and we're going to shade it a little bit darker to give it some dimension and this will be the drawer and it also um, gives you a delineation of where the top and the bottom parts are so don't worry about that protruding side to the left we're going to cover that in a little while and since that rectangle is not giving me the right angle for the bottom part, I did two rectangles and I put it one on top of the other and it just, um, and it has to be the same color to mimic the angle of the side of the floor. So now I'm creating another rectangle, the same shade as, as the wall, and I'm covering up that protruding side of the cabinet and that goes at the back. The cabinet door goes at the back of that partial wall that I just made. So it's more like a cover-up. So tricks and hacks, that's the trick that I use normally to come up with um, angles since we can't really do much about the squares and the rectangles. And Canva isn't that flexible like Photoshop or even like uh, PowerPoint. PowerPoint is a bit more flexible when it comes to angles. Now let's choose a nice tall potted plant and I think this one works really well so we'll put it behind the sofa. The sofa goes in the front and obviously we need a carpet for the area or an area rug and this one 
is the perfect shade. So we're doing more of um, an aqua, a teal blue, gray colored room. So we'll add a few more accessories like plants, probably, um, I don't know, maybe a vase or something to put on top of that table. So let's pick one out. And I think we should go for, no, not that one. It's a different kind of drawing. It's, uh, it doesn't really match the other furniture. So let's choose this one. So it's still the same shade. And let's place it right beside our plant. So right there. I think that looks good. Next off is, let's go for windows. Now for this one, since our wall is angled, I chose the windows icon. Um, it's not the same angle as the sofa or the wall, but let's tilt it just a little bit, and then we'll cover it up with a line. So here's your line. And it's a bit too thin, so we're going to put, well, we're just going to make it a little bit thicker. And we'll color it a shade of gray. So it'll. Another one, we have to put another one also on the other side. So let's copy this one and let's paste it onto the next one. So there you have it. 
your window. And you just keep on setting it backwards and forwards. So the next one would be trying to give some dimension to your wall. Now, walls are a bit tricky because this is just, it should look like a drawing. It's not realistic, like I said. But you still have to put a bit of lighting to give it a bit of life and drama to it. So right now what I'm trying to do is put some rectangles at an angle and either I shade it a lighter shade of gray or a darker shade of gray and I set it on our wall. Right there. And keep on putting it back and back and back until it's behind all the other elements like our accessories like the plants and the vase and that table. So now our room looks a little bit more lit up. And obviously we're going to put our floor lamp right there. I think that looks good. Now in perspective, what you have to understand is you have to make everything fit each other. So the sofa cannot be too big for the room. It can't be um, too small either and your plant can't be gigantic. So right now what we're doing is we're making a circle, into an oval. I just shrunk it down and I made it flat and transparent at the same time. And that becomes the shadow for our plant lamp. And now we're going to put it on top of our desk to make it the shadow of the plant and that vase. Okay, let me get it because I've taking me getting the uh, the carpet so it's right there and fix it a little bit yes put that down and there you have your room so that's the quickest way or the easiest way to make a 3d perspective of a room and there are several other um, styles that you could do with this and as I've said, you can change up the color, you can put in curtains, you can do other things with it. And that's about it. If you would like to see more content like this, please like and subscribe and comment down below if you'd like to see me do another room. Again, this is our first video on this channel. And let's see if um, we get some really good responses after this one. So thank you for watching and have a great day.